Hello, today we'll be looking into task masks uh, in Affinity Photo. This will be our final result. So let's get started. Let's create by starting a new document. I'll use the default settings. I have my document here. Um, let's get a, a picture from the leopard from Unsplash using stock. I already have search for leopard and have my leopard here. Uh, nice leopard, beautiful animal. Let's make sure we have that leopard as we want to have it. So here we have our leopard. Go back to our layers. What we want to do right now is add the text, drag and hold, make sure you have a good font size. Uh, get life and uh, type it in here and let's center it so we have it centered make it a little bit smaller to, to fit it and give it a like nice thick font so here we have it to mask it a drag and drop on the there you want the mask. It's already been masked. Looks really nice. We have no background. So let's add a background to it. Make it black. Oh, red is also not so bad. Red, put it on bottom. And there we have it. Nice thing about these text masks is that the mask can be edited. Select uh, the layer. Press it and let's fix this one. Good. So what we can do right now is we can uh, show the original image on bottom. Let's duplicate this one and put this on the bottom. As you can see, the text kind of disappeared because uh, the mask and the Im image is the same. Uh, we can play with this one a little bit to make the text come through another option that you could do is add a gaussian blur effect so let's say on layers live filter blur gaussian blur uh, and we can blur out the background image <coughs> a bit um, and I give it a little bit more pop-up, add another mask, circle mask, to recreate our original image that we want to achieve. So, and we apply this one to here. So, nice thing to, to mention here is that, as you see, the mask circular mass is also blurred if we don't want that what we have to do is make sure that the blur is applied first and then we apply the clips that's how affinity works image blur filter or sorry mask so what's happening here is as you can see that the mask is sharp and nice so one thing we need to do more is to give it maybe a little nicer effect is let's move these two, move this one too. Oh, sorry, uh, I don't want to have the blur. I want the blur actually and move it here and give this a little, even a darker image where uh, the circle also pops up another thing you can do is play around with this layer to have the text pop up a little bit more how can we do that uh, we can for example at the HSL layer well my HSL screen is kind of broken so let's make it reddish Wish. And let's add it to this one. 
it only applies to the text so we got a more yellowish uh, text we can just double click on it and we can say well I want to have it uh, good and red and uh, change a little bit the luminosity and yeah play around as you think it's nice uh, other option could be that you apply a, a recolor effect and we only want it to apply to this one so we can say well I want a more reddish yellowish and I want less saturation uh, and the recolor instead of normal we can say well soft light so see you get this nice image uh, what applies um, even to pop it up more I think you can add an effects and, and create an outline to it and make the outline white and give it a more radius yeah, to, uh, that's an option um, another option is turn off the outline and give it a outer glow yeah, so you get this this nice glow effect on it but that's up to you how you play with it thanks for watching hope it was interesting and see you next time